Okay, so this is the second tutorial of Computercraft, and this tutorial we're going to be covering the CD drive. And so there's two things you can do with the CD drive, really. Um, you can play CDs, as in discs, as in music discs. Um, so if I were to do that, turn the sound up. I've got wind because it's annoying and do DJ and it'll play some cat C418 and eject um, eject right there we are and that would eject the disk and it looks like it needs an update to be honest um, yeah see the light was on um, so yeah, that's one use of it, and the other use is floppy disks where you can put files onto it. I'm going to turn the sound off now because it's annoying. Um, should go in a second. So another thing you can do is um, copy files from the computer to the disk to then be duplicated and transferred. So what I will do now is show you how to get to the directory of the floppy disk so you just do CD disk and then this shows you on the directory of the floppy disk so if you do programs then you'll see the normal programs that are on the computer and to exit the directory I believe you do is do slash uh, CD slash there we are, and that goes back to the normal computer directory. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the program we made in the previous tutorial over to the floppy disk. So I'm just going to do copy. Um, uh, it was called test, yeah. Um, to disk slash, and then you can give it another name. So I will call it. Um, test 2. So now if I go CD disk and do uh, programs then you'll see there test 2. So yeah and I'll just show you that you can copy it to another computer now. So I'll do that. I'll take the floppy disk out, put it in here and now I'll do uh, copy disk slash test 2 and I'm going to copy it to the normal computer and I'll call it test 3 now if I do programs then you'll see test 3 and it's exactly the same program that's been duplicated and renamed so yeah this can be useful for when you've typed out a massive program and you don't want to lose it or if you wanted to give it to a friend or if you're on a server you could like sell programs I guess be quite a cool feature that's it for this tutorial so if it's a bit short I'll cover more stuff in the next tutorial thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe